Hi, I'm Scott Garibay, and uh, this is part of the Garibay RPG series. I'm going to be talking about the D&D Next Player's Handbook, the most important book that's being written today. And what I want to talk about is uh, this is going to be the video that is uh, the creation of the quest. So essentially, Dungeons and & Dragons uh, and D&D and Next is going to be the next version of this is, is a game about heroes fighting monsters. So you have uh, heroes in the guise of, of rogues and uh, clerics, and fighters and wizards and they fight monsters and those monsters are uh, dragons and bugbears and goblins and all kinds of different you know um, shadow wraiths and all uh, liches and all kinds of exciting creatures right so you know this is a game that I it's been very exciting for me for for decades and um, and what's really exciting now is D&D Next the creation of the D&D Player's Handbook is a quest in itself and you can see the heroes and you can see the monsters so the heroes are Mike Merles and um, and actually and his team right so the Wizards of the Coast uh, Dungeons and Dragons production team are the heroes and they have some very serious monsters so uh, what are the monsters one they are a tiny company Wizards of the Coast owned by a very large company Hasbro right so I don't think Hasbro is evil or anything it's just that it, that is a challenging position to be in uh, a, a smaller company uh, can you know brought, bought up by a larger company the smaller companies trying to do us do you know remain free remain independent uh, keep their creativity alive that, that can be really challenging that is a distinct monster right so um, also old property uh, Dungeons and Dragons came out in 1973, and we are in 2013. You're talking 40 years, right? So, um, so that has some serious problems. So the first one is multi. It's a multi-generational project pro product. There's guys who are 43 older than me who care about this game, and then there are 13-year-olds who really should be playing it, and 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 who Wizards of the Coast definitely wants to sell to 13-year-olds, and, and well, they should. I mean, this is a great game for anybody to be playing. Um, and so, you know, so it's a multi-generational product. It's an old product. So how do you keep an old, old product going into its fifth edition? How do you keep it fresh? That is a serious monster, and they need to deal with that. Um, in addition, uh, they are looking to publish a physical book. Publishing is teetering on the precipice, uh, about to fall off a cliff, right? You know, uh, Amazon is coming on strong with the Kindle. Uh, you can read uh, books on your phone constantly. But D and D has always existed as a super cool, you know, um, hardback book, and it is one of the greatest books ever written. Because essentially, it's taught, you know, it's taught, you know, literally millions of, of of young men how to build worlds with with these books, and 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 really drawn uh, many generations of American men into into storytelling and into collaboration. And into um, into you know um, just you know building friendships around telling stories and building fiction, and that that's pretty amazing, right? So, but but publishing, man, that's a, that's a tough game to be in right now, but it's also a huge opportunity. So, but but you know, publishing publishing a physical book that is a distinct monster. That that is the red dragon, uh, and it's got some serious fire breath. That's a tough game to be in right now, right? But you also can't not not print D and D. It's it's just too much there's too much tradition around it, right? So those are some serious monsters. Uh and and so now I do think that um Mike Merles and Wizards of the Coast, uh, I think those guys are the heroes. I think they can do what they're trying to do. They have a great product and they are a great team. Uh D and D three point five was amazing. I think D and D four point was great. I think the problem there was was the community of fans didn't rally around it. And so uh, but that's you know that's okay. We're we're where we are at, and I think Mike Merles can pull it out, and I think his team can pull it out, and and uh, basically I want to see them slay every single one of these monsters, and and really deliver an amazing game. So um, so basically, I just uh, you know uh, the creation is the quest here. The creation of the D and D Player's Handbook is 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 the quest that that these heroes are on. And, and they have some dragons to slay. So it's going to be interesting to see how, how they go about this. Thank you.